guys, my name is Faustina and you're welcome back to my movie review channel. Today I'll be reviewing the Nollywood movie that is streaming right now on Netflix titled Collision Calls. Me and you are the same person. Now just this system, the focus on this system is impoverishing us. Collision Course simultaneously tells the story of a police officer struggling to make ends meet and an upcoming artist. The police officer sets up a roadblock to collect bribes. At the roadblock, he meets the artist and mistakenly shoots him dead. The events that follow would eventually lead to the police officer's arrest. The actors are Daniel Etin Effiong, Kelechi Udigwe, Bamike Olawumi, Adelawe, Kenneth Okoli, Chioma Akota, Bimbo Manuel and a host of others. Collision Course was directed by Bonanli Austin Peters. I was really looking forward to see this movie for a while now. And when I heard it was coming to Netflix, I was super excited. Because this movie is already critically acclaimed and has a lot of awards to its name. It was a closing film at um, the 2021 edition of AFRIF. And it won the best West African movie at the just concluded AMBC. So I was really looking forward to see if this movie was worth the hype. And what the hype about the movie was all about. And now I am here to tell you guys that this movie lived up to its hype. 100%. This movie was inspired by the NSARS events that took place in Nigeria in 2020. If you followed global events in 2020, you would remember that there was a nationwide NSARS protest in Nigeria, similar to the Black Lives Matter protest. Nigerians came out in their numbers to protest against police brutality, all forms and types of police brutality. And this movie just draws inspiration from some of the events that triggered that protest. Collision Course shows the reality of the current situation of the Nigerian police force. You know, you, we see a young, passionate police officer that answers the call to protect lives and property in his fatherland, Nigeria, left to suffer in lack and, and poverty by the Nigerian system. You know, the system is configured to make to leave them poor and it's really really frustrating and disheartening so when this police officer turns to using the weapons that he should use to protect lives and properties to oppress those that he should be protecting it's totally understandable like i love that this film um helps us to empathize with the situation of the police officer not justify their actions at all but to empathize with their situation and to understand that the system is the problem not exactly the police officers and for me that was the high point in this movie i love the point where the victim and the police officer came to realization that the problem is the system not the both of them i also love the choice of the victim of the character of the victim in this movie is an upcoming artist and he has an unconventional look that look resonates with his art and everything that he represents but unfortunately this look is what the average nigerian police officer has been trained to see as criminal you know when they see you maybe with dreadlocks or with full hair or with a tattoo they just look at you and say that you're a criminal and then they begin to harass people like that many young nigerians will give you stories of of how this has happened to them several times you know and it even gets worse when you now when you are when you are now rich and you're young they start asking you very very irrelevant and funny questions even though you're doing something that is legit they don't seem to believe you so i love that this film shows all of this but it just also brings us to the point that the nigerian police force needs an upgrade i mean this is the 21st century i mean right now the devil wears prada People who are the greatest criminal minds are known to dress responsibly and to look decent, not to look raggedy. So it's just sad that the average police officer on the street still thinks. Also, this movie shows a group of unscrupulous police officers that do terrible things to young Nigerians um, called TARS, which is similar to SARS in real life. There's a real SARS that exists, which um, the NSARS protest was named after. I figured that the makers of this movie refused to explore so much about TARS. They only showed their operations and just showed a few things about them i figured that they refused to do so much with um that subject because it may trigger because they are scared of what it may trigger when people see um this movie but i love that in the end of the movie they pay tribute to all those that have been affected by um by sars um and they show clips of the NSARS protest as for the performances in this movie, I'll start with the performance of Bamike Olawumi. She plays the pregnant girlfriend of the upcoming artist in this movie. And 
I'm talking about it first because she was really pregnant in real life when she played this role and that alone is mind-blowing for me. This is the second time I'm seeing an actor play a pregnant role in a movie when they are really pregnant indeed. I stand to be corrected of course but the first time I saw this was with um, Tony Abraham in Elevator Baby and now I'm seeing it here again um, in um, collision cause so it's a big deal because it's it's a lot of work you know to do this and i can imagine all the medical attention that she was receiving and the frame of mind that she was in you know just pulling this off so for me her performance was it was excellent it was good but i was just intrigued by the fact that she was pregnant while performing another actor that blew me away with his performance in this movie was kelechi udebe he played the role of the struggling police officer in this movie and he won an award at um the 2021 afri ceremony closing ceremony for best actor so watching this movie of course i went into this movie with high hopes and it didn't disappoint my expectations. I love how it transitioned from this very fearful character um, that couldn't, that was scared and spineless, you know, to this angry police officer that was being driven by frustration, you know, to to do whatever he had to do to make money. I love, I love how his how his character went from made that transition. Every other actor in this movie was also excellent. Um, Bing Bong Manuel, Daniel Etim F Young, Adele Laoye. Kenneth Okoli, um, Chioma Akota, just to mention a few, they were all proficient in how to deliver their roles and their various characters. I cannot end this review without talking about how excellent Bolandi Austin Peters is as a director. This is the second film I'm watching from her, um, the first one being Man of God, and I can tell you for both films she did awesomely well as a director. As someone who has a very vast background in theatre, transitioning into film you would think that she would struggle for a while before perfecting the act of directing but no she is flawless and wonderful and i really loved seeing um collision course so yeah collision course is streaming right now on netflix i highly recommend that you watch it it's worth your time 100 percent um if you're really passionate about security in nigeria um you will definitely enjoy this movie so Feel free to head over to Netflix, watch the movie Collision Course, return here to leave your thoughts in the comment box. I want to know whether you agree with what I said, whether you think um, otherwise, leave your thoughts in the comment box. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends, invite them on this conversation, and also don't forget to subscribe. My name is Faustina, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye.